This video here was supposed to come out yesterday. Sorry, I didn't make it. But now here are two things I really like in the newest DaVinci Resolve update. Hello and welcome here on Random Rotation. I hope you're all doing well. First thing I want to show you is that they added the halation effect. This is not an effect that was impossible to create in Resolve before, but it usually took more than one note. And now you can just find it under the stylized effects and just drag and drop this halation effect onto the note. And boom, now everything looks ugly. <laughs> That's because of two reasons. Reason number one, I haven't graded this material beforehand. It's just straight out of the camera. And reason number two, the halation effect is simply too strong right now, but we can do something about it. Let me show you before and after the before right now looks way better, right? Now I activate view isolated regions and now you can see that a lot of the wall behind me is affected too and the chair and I don't want that. So I bump up the threshold amount and this looks way better. I don't care about these little blue and green spots down here. And now let's check the before and after. That's way more pleasing, right? We could also add a secondary glow if we like. Let me show you why this is not a good idea in this example. Uh, in my opinion, it does not work very well on faces, but let's say you want to intensify the sunlight coming through a window. This could very well be the effect you're looking for. And like I said, it's nothing that was impossible to create in Resolve before, but I can really appreciate that it's there now. I, I, I just like the simplicity. That's it. And also, I don't need to use any third party plugin. I like that. And the second new feature I want to show you today is the improved audio editing in the edit workspace. It's already been possible before to just click here and drag the audio volume to our desired value. But now we can do it much finer by simply holding shift and then clicking and dragging. A super simple solution that makes my life better. I know it's not a feature that's as catchy as five times speed performance on M1 MacBooks, but I'm a Windows user. I've been working Mac only for a while and who knows, maybe I will be again someday in the future, but for now, I don't care. <laughs> That's it. That's why I like these little features. Little, little things that make DaVinci better with every new update. All right, folks, that is it for this week. I really hope you liked it. If so, thank you very much. I see you in my next video. And until then, stay safe and motivated. Bye for now.